Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can hide user accounts inside Windows 10. Now we're going to be making the account hidden uh, from the sign-in screen and also from family and friends and stuff like that. They won't be able to see it. Now you can also log into this account remotely but no one else will know it's there and it's also a really good feature uh, if you want to keep it like a secret uh, type of account. Uh, it does work with uh, Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. It should work with those no problem. It could work with uh, older versions of Windows as well. Also we are going to be going into the registry and making changes in the registry so it might be advisable to make a backup of your system before you continue just in case something goes wrong. Okay so let's get started. So we're on a Windows 10 machine here and uh, what we're going to do is first start off by uh, going into the accounts and create a hidden account for ourselves. So let's get started. So what we're going to do here is right click on here and go run and you need to type in here netplwiz to open up the account page here. You can see user accounts and we have got one account here which is called Brightech and it's administrator account. We want to create another account so we can hide that. Now if you've got a family computer that's got a ton of accounts on them uh, you're going to see all these on the login screen and it might be a good idea just to hide just one. Don't try and hide loads of them, just hide one, okay? So let's go ahead and add an account. So it wants to uh, give us uh, a sign in here. So we're going to sign in with uh, a Microsoft account, a non-Microsoft account, uh, which makes it a local account here. And we're going to call this, say, hidden, something like that. You can call it yours, whatever you like, secret, anything like that. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a quick short password here, and uh, you can put a more complicated password if you want to do that. This is just for the tutorial, and I'm just going to call this local account hidden. There we go. Click finish, and there we go. Now, this is only a user account. We need to make sure it's an administrator account, so we don't just a, a, a bog standard account here. So we're going to double click on this. And take a look at it so it's a member of the uh, standard user group so we're going to make this administrator and that's what we want to do there so click OK and uh, we're pretty much good to go so just remember you called it hidden and uh, we're going to click OK here right next up we need to go to the registry and make a registry uh, entry there so we can uh, hide our account so next up we're going to go to the registry here it's going to type run and then reg edit and this will open up our registry editor say so yes to the user account control and there we are so we're in h key local machine and that's the location we want to start in then we want to go to software here hit the drop down tab and then go to microsoft and pull that down as well okay and now just scroll down until you see windows nt just going to try and find Windows NT there it is and also pull this tab down current version here and then we're going to open up current version and then come down until you see win logon and there we are there and there we are inside win logon here okay so we're just highlighting win logon now once you've got to win logon we need to create a new key so we're going to right click on this and go to new and then key and you should see it here and it's empty I'm going to call this special accounts so you just type in inside here special account or counts I should say just like so and there we can see we have special accounts now we need to create another new key let me just pull this down so you can see a bit more better okay now inside the special accounts we need to right click and create a new key again and inside here we're going to call this user list make sure you put the uh, capitals in there like so okay uh, in, once we've got this done you should see the user list inside the uh, special accounts now on the right hand pane here when we're inside user list we want to create another value which is a, a d word value okay of 32 bit so I'm going to right click on this area and I'm going to call this D word 32 bit value. Even if you're running a 64 bit machine, you still need to use the 32 bit value. 
Here we're going to call it the account. So mine was called hidden, yours will be whatever you want to call it. And of course we can open this up now and set the value to zero. And this will now hide that account from uh, virtually everywhere, okay? So I'll show you exactly uh, where it hides it from. And uh, we're just gonna pull this down here, I won't close it, we'll need that a little bit later on. So if we uh, check out the control panel, so I'm gonna right click and go control panel, and go into the user accounts up here, user accounts, and you can see here, manage another account. And you can see there is no account there, it's been hidden. Okay, the account is completely disappeared. Also, uh, if we go into the start, uh, into settings, and into accounts here, then you'll see the account is not available in family and others or anything like that, it's just disappeared. Okay, so that's the whole idea of this. Now, obviously, if we uh, remote, if we just remote into this in, when, in this invisible account, we'll be able to log into it. Uh, but we can also uh, log out, and if we log out, we won't see the hidden account either. So we'll try and do that now. So let me just quickly shut this page off here, and we'll just quickly log out. I think another area where you might not see it uh, is on the menu screen here. So if we go to sign out, I'm just going to quickly sign out here. We shouldn't see it on the sign in screen here. It should be disappeared. And you can see now it's only forcing us to log into the Brightech account because obviously the um, other account is not visible. So we need to log into this account. But you can see it normally would be listed down here. So we'll just log in here quickly. And I'll just show you a couple of more places where it is, is hidden from you. If you come down to the menu here and you can see it's not visible here, we can't log into this account here okay because it's uh, in hidden okay another place where it will be hidden as well uh, we're going to go into file explorer into this pc and then c drive and also users and you will see that it's not visible here as well it's been hidden okay so let me just quickly unhide uh, this uh, by going back into the registry and all we need to do here is go back into reg edit say yes and uh, we're going to go into the hidden key that we set up and we're just going to change this value to one and uh, if we do that now here and I'll quickly show you sign out and you should have the option for hidden to log into there as well as you can see here so I'm just going to quickly go back into the Brightech account so you can see it visible down there And again, once that's done, we'll just quickly check one more. I'm going to go into the accounts up here as well. And we can manage uh, other accounts. And you can see now the hidden account is here. It's now visible. And also just one more. I'll just quickly show you. Um, even in the sign out area here, I think the menu area, it should be now visible. As you can see here, if we click on this, it's now visible. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can hide uh, a user account uh, from anyone so they won't know it's there, only you'll know it's there. And I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos, guys. If you do, then hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or anything like that, or you just want to join a community, head over to the forums. And if you uh, haven't joined my Facebook fan page and you'd like to uh, go over there and give us a little like up over there, then pop over there and give us a little like. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.